Okay, so today in this training evolution, we're gonna simulate rescuing a crane operator from the crane cabin and lowering them down through the crane tramway using our twin set tension MPD system and our class three full body harness. Um, this is gonna start by Nick and I would be the rescuers in this scenario. We would climb the crane, assess the patient. Um, if required, we could raise medical equipment up and over the edge using our MPD and twin tension system to provide patient care. For this training evolution, we're going to simulate our patient is relatively stable, they're relatively cooperative, but they're unable to get themselves down. So our primary objective is securing the patient, and so we are going to use the class 3 full body harness found on each one of our first due apparatus, and Nick and I are just going to help our patient get into the harness. So Nick's going to work on the lower, the legs, the lower part of the harness, and I'll secure the shoulder straps. So you can see these straps just lay right over the harness, and it comes through the center chest piece here, and clips in. Get that nice and secure. And these buckles are pretty challenging to deal with. So you have shoulder straps, waist straps, and leg straps. Okay, so now for the moment, we're gonna leave our patient and we're gonna set up our rigging. So the crane that we have uh, currently in the village, there's plenty of cross member lattice um, strong anchor holds for us to rig our anchor straps to and set up our twin tension system. Ideally, your system would be at about eye level, so you could clip into your patient and have them unweighted and transition them smoothly over the edge. In this scenario, you can see that our cross members are a little lower, so our MPDs are going to be really close to that edge transition, which is less than ideal, but we're going to make it work for this training evolution. So every time, the first thing you pull out is the anchor strap with five carabiners, two prussics, a single pulley, and your MPD. And I'm just going to rig this up with an anchor strap and an MPD. This will be a simple girth hook. Before I apply the MPD to the anchor strap, I'll route the rope. All of our ropes come with a pre-tied figure eight. And as you can see when you flip this device over, your load is on the short side. Your braking hand is on the longer side. I'm going to slide this open. I know Kristen will be attached to my load side. I thread this all the way around. And now I'm ready to apply it to the anchor strap. Feed out just a small amount of slack. When you pull on this lightly, it'll feed through. And to test that you've routed it correctly, you pull on it hard and it'll auto lock. So 
as in the title, twin tension. We have two ropes under equal tension. Both of these ropes will be secured to our patient and we are gonna lower her down using the exact same speed. So with this class three harness, in order to give her a nice smooth ride, I'm going to hook her up using the chest and the waist. And Nick is going to do the same. And as you notice, he's gonna click in right next to me, but we're gonna do what we call opposing gates. Meaning these two gates are on opposite sides of one another. That way we avoid the risk of them interfering and potentially failing. Kristen would prefer that. Okay, opposing gates two finely dressed figure eights. Our systems are ready. I've tested mine. Nick will test his. The next thing we're gonna do, which you probably won't have to do in the actual crane, but we're gonna set up some edge protection here. Anytime your rope is running along a hard edge for any amount of time, you wanna implement these new edge protection devices. And they're never under load, so it's not critically important that they are secured with a weight-bearing knot. They just need to stay in place. So I'm going to do a half hitch and an overhand standard rescuer knot complement. My rope will run there and I can guide that. Okay, now that we're getting closer to lowering our patient over the edge, anytime you have rope running through your hands, gloves are an absolute necessity. And I'm also going to give myself a little edge fall protection by hooking in here. And when I'm close to this, I can make sure I don't fall in. So, second step is we are gonna get our patient on her bottom and close to the edge of the crane tramway. And in this scenario, Kristen is pseudo-conscious and we're gonna stand her up and just get her on her bottom. This is exactly how we would do it in a crane rescue. And again, these MPD would ideally be at eye level because you're gonna see Kristen's gonna have a little challenge here as we edge transition, but we're gonna make it work for the training. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Kristen to scoot closer. And I'm pulling the tension in all the way. And like I said, for this train, Kristen's gonna just support her own weight so we can get her under tension. Go ahead and lower yourself, Kristen. Okay. And with these MPD, you can see here, you pull out and turn, and now I'm released, and all of my braking speed is coming from my left hand. And Nick and I are making sure to go at the same speed. Nick's gonna get onto his edge protection, and we're gonna make sure we're ready to go down slow. If I want to go faster, I lessen my angle. If I want more friction, I sharpen my angle. And our patient is at the ambulance. We can then disconnect her. And then if needed, we could run these back up and lower any other equipment that we've used for this rescue. And then Nick and I would DC and climb down the ladder.